Hey collective, <laughs> it's chatting with you. And I'm back with another video. Oh, what's good, y'all? I feel like whoever you are, you pick up on energy very well. And people feel exposed around you because they can't hide who the fuck they are. Okay? They can't hide who they are. And it's like, I'm hearing, you got the peephole to my soul. You see right through me. How do you do that shit? Yeah, somebody feel like you see right through them. Like, it's it's nothing that they can hide from you. This person feel exposed under you. Like, like almost like a magnifying, like, like a bug under a magnifying glass when it comes to you. Okay? I'm also getting that people feel like because somebody is some people I'm, I'm saying somebody it could be one specific person or people in general people feel like um you use your gifts for the wrong reasons okay because they feel exposed you may be um a terror reader or something like that but it's like because they feel exposed it's like something you're saying, but they feel like you're t like somebody feel like you tapping into their energy basically to expose them. Like, oh, she using her gifts to, you know, find out what's going. Like, honey, you is not that important. <laughs> you is not that important for nobody to be trying to figure out what's going on with you. Anything, I'm speaking for me personally now. Anything that I put up on this channel is strictly what comes out like y'all see me shuffle these cards if not y'all hear me shuffling these cards so whatever come out just come out you know what i'm saying if the shoe fit and you want to wear it then that's on you but yeah let's happen and see what's going on nobody in any of my collective ain't nobody using their intuition to try to know what's going on with you we don't give a fuck Somebody want to know how you get your money, too. I'm hearing don't worry about it. Just know I'm getting it. Yeah, you got Archangel Gabriel coming out. Yeah, that was confirmation. Archangel Gabriel. So know that Archangel Gabriel is a guiding and protecting and working with you at this time. And you know it's crazy because um, these this card I just put in my deck. But I said that I was going to write down... Um, like what these archangels represent or what they work with, like how they help you. And I'm going to do that for my collective. So that way, you know, we all could just know as when it come out in this read and exactly what's going on. But for now, you know, Google what archangel gave you because he's definitely around you at this time. You got my destination is closer than it appears. So you've been going a distance it's been like a long ass road but baby that finish line is right fucking there that finish line is there okay you got scorpio woman so you could have scorpio placements in your chart or you could simply be a scorpio um but i'm picking up like water like somebody intuition is on it a scorpion could be significant too so you know research the um Spirit animal Scorpio. Okay, so you got be, be gentle with yourself. It's about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, so that's yo. You got two cards out here. Wow, and then you got um the lie detector determines that's the truth, and good things are happening for me, happening fast for me. So yeah, things are um definitely picking up. Like the speed is picking up, but it's with two cards out here speaking about destination. Like somebody is right there. Somebody is right there. Everything that you've been, you know, praying for, trying to manifest into your life, like, that shit is literally right there. You can almost, like, it's like you could taste that shit. But Spirit is wanting you to be gentle with yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, with the um, Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. But remember I said, so you could be a Scorpio man or a woman. Even though it says Scorpio woman, take it where it resonates, okay? Because I definitely picked up on that cup energy. Somebody's intuition is definitely... Um, all the way, all the way on fire. 
Spirit is wanting you to really be gentle with yourself at this time. Fucking take care of yourself, okay? Self-care. Like, I'm hearing, like, you know, you want to go out, fucking buy you a salad and go chill. Go Like, I'm hearing, like, somebody, like, you know, it's cold. So, I want to say sit in a park, but that's the energy. Like, somebody could go sit in a, like, you know, one of them little, little, um, I'm getting, like, you know one of them little mom and pop shops and people be going in there with their laptops and shit like a coffee shop or um like I don't know I got a few in my area so I just know what I'm talking about but yeah it's like somebody is just taking care of themselves like going on walks walking in the rain like going window shopping it's like whatever you doing is like don't worry about it I feel like somebody look good too taking care of themselves too I'm also getting, <clears throat> um, this, the, I don't know, this is significant for somebody, but I did see something on, um, like UV gel light causing like a rare cancer in the skin. I don't know, you know, what's going on with that. I'm being, it just came up, so I'm being guided to say it. Um, so like, if you have been like, you know, doing the gel manicures and shit like that, and it's crazy because, um... I was just saying, like, yo, I'm going to start getting my nails done again. Like, I, I don't want to get tips. My nails, my natural nails grow long. But I'm like, I don't want to get tips. I was going to start with the UV gel again. Like, you know, just getting um my nails and shit done. But then I seen that. So I'm like, damn, that spirit telling me, like, like, like is that a sign or something? Like, as soon as I said, all right, I'm going to start. I see that shit about the UV gel. Like, so I don't know. But I seen, like, you know, maybe looking into, um press-ons or something like that somebody could be into press-ons i don't know i feel like yeah somebody got a lot like somebody really trying to step back into their feminine ways like you know taking care taking better care of they stuff like you look fucking good regardless but it's like really you know enhancing yourself a little bit more i'm hearing oh you're gonna have the like you're gonna be able to do this very soon if you don't have the finances to do it now, you will very soon. Let's see. Matter of fact, before I even pull from, let me see what's, let me, let me pull from my, um, the scoop. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what y'all need to see. Yeah, whoever you are, somebody, somebody, you look fucking good okay it's like people are like literally romanticizing sexualizing you like at this time people are dreaming of you and i feel like you like like i said you're somebody who like you like damn i want to start getting my nails and shit done getting my hair done like and people loving you just for what the fuck you look like now word i'm telling you that natural glow glow different all that other shit you know, it's like, those are all enhancements for you. Like, whoever you are, you look fucking good. Real shit. Like, you look mad good. You don't have, you don't have to do too much. Okay, so you got caught up. Damn, I'm hearing Usher. I'm so caught up. Got my feeling bad. Caught up. I don't know what it is. The butter seems she's got me twisted. Yeah, you got people in their fucking head. Yeah, behind the scenes. People watching you. They talking. I'm telling you, romantic thoughts. I'm also getting that you got like, because I hear I see like two men in this picture. You got men who are like nonstop talking about you. I don't give a fuck. If you dealt with them from your past or you didn't, these motherfuckers do not stop talking about you. They don't. It's like, these people really, like, they, they really think about being with you or some. Like, it's just weird. Like, I don't like... I, I'm getting a weird energy behind that. Okay, you got guidance out here. Codependency. Code 
I feel like these are people you were guided away from. Yo, look, I can't make it up. See, with this confusion here, I always feel it. Like, every time I get like this in a read, I see that card. Because I be knowing it's like motherfuckers be wanting to keep you confused. Wanting you to, like, not know what they doing. Not know what's going on. But it's like, spirit is guiding you right now. Like, I feel like these people are being terminated. Like... Or you terminated something. Like, you realized you were going the wrong way. And you was like, oh, hell no. Like, let me make a U-turn. Let me get let me get the fuck from around. I also feel like, yo, I can't make it up. Also feel like people knew they were going the wrong way. And they, they, they like, you know what I'm saying? They, they were stubborn. And because of that, it's like they're being terminated. Like... However, you know, however you see fit, whether they being terminated from a job, terminated from your life, terminated from life. Take away and resonate. Yo, you got toxic family falling out. And then I see evil eye at the bottom of the deck. Breaking point. It's like. I feel like you dealt with a lot. And this is why spirit is really needing you to be gentle with yourself and understand like. A lot of shit is working out in your favor. A lot of people who had the opportunity to change their thoughts, change their ways when it came to you, change how they treated you, change how they went about the things they that they were doing, they did not want to. They really did not want to. And I feel like Spirit gave them enough time. I'm, I'm hearing like people had, I'm hearing like either from 2020 up until now. Okay, like people had literally three years to get their shit together. And when this new year came in, Spirit was like, oh, fuck no. Let me show you something. People had time. I'm telling you, people had time to clear up their act and stop doing the shit that they was doing to you. So whatever they got coming for them and they submerging their emotions, that's literally on them. Yeah, you got muse. It's like these people are watching you. I said that with the behind the scenes. They watching you. They're inspired by you. But it's like what they did and like they went the wrong way but it's like these people are inspired by you because they see how far you come because they they know all the blockages they they was creating for your ass yeah i feel like i feel like you're like motivation to some to some word grass is fake it's like these people, black magic, damn. These motherfuckers is so, it's like, it's like these people do so much foul and phony shit behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? They pretend to be one way and act a certain type of way. But behind the scenes, they fucking feelings is hurt because it's like they cannot, like, it's like, imagine doing all this to somebody just for you to still see them shining or for you to still know in your heart that you're amazed by them or that you look up to them or you aspire to be like them. It's like that shit got to eat you up inside. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, it'd be a conflict within themselves because you ain't got shit to do with it. With this dead card here. You got dead cash flow and missing peace. Yeah, it's like even if it was something around some money, okay? It's like that missing piece is coming. You about to find it. You about to really get the, that piece to that puzzle. Somebody is trying so hard for something not to come in for you. It's like also somebody wants you to bite your tongue. Somebody don't want you to speak on something. It's, yeah, it's becoming too fucking much. It's like, whatever you saying, it's becoming too much. And I, I told you, people feel like, like, I'm hearing, like, you got the peephole to their soul. It's like, you fucking reading the fuck out these motherfuckers, and they do not like it. Even, like, right in your face. It could be people saying, right, it's like, they, you looking at them, it's like, they, they know, it's like, they feel like you know their thoughts. I'm talking because these people always in this evil eye energy, with this evil eye and catfish poking out. It's like they always in this, they always, it's like the way they feel about you, they do not like you. They don't like you. But I'm getting like envy. It's more envy because I'm telling you, these people fucking watch you nonstop. So it's like, why would you be so invested into somebody's life that you don't fucking like? 
Yeah, because you're the fucking star. Because you've been shining. Look, with the star and the ten of cups. I'm telling you, this family. Hating ass family members or like people just fucking weird. And if they not your family, it's like you got bitches and their family. Like bitches that don't like you. They got their family and shit involved. It's like people don't realize though. I'm hearing they do anything for clout. So people thought coming up against you that they were going to do something like or that they was going to get some sort of clout off of it. You ain't going to get shit off this um star high priestess name. The fuck? You ain't never going to get clout off that name. People weird. Like, oh, me and her got issues or I did this to her. I'm also here. Somebody wanted to have a somebody really wanted to fight you just so they could say that y'all had a fight. I can't make it up. Somebody want to fucking fight this high priestess. Somebody don't like that you like that that you know what be going on. I'm telling you, they feel they be feeling exposed. So it's like you you telling these bitches deepest darkest secrets. Oh hell yeah, they want war, but it's like they cannot fucking touch you. They cannot touch you. If it's, I'm hearing for some of y'all, y'all ain't is like. You only know this shit that because they be so in your energy. You only know so you only know what be going on with them because how much they play in, in your energy with this fucking black magic. Like spirit, like okay, you wanna you wanna keep playing with this high priestess? You wanna keep playing with this empress? Okay, let me show you something. Let me show them something about your ass. Yeah, now the sword's falling out. Telling this person having sleepless nights, everything. Because they getting caught up. They getting caught the fuck up. I'm telling it's like they wish they never played in your energy. That's what I'm getting. Because them doing that is what allowed this to come through, what allowed this to happen. Yeah. With this three of wands, two of swords. I feel like you didn't know a lot of shit. You was you was just moving forward. You know what I'm saying? I feel like whoever you are, you was literally letting spirit guide you. I can't make it up with the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. Yo, you got the five. Let me make sure y'all fucking seeing this. Please let me make sure y'all seeing. You got the five. You got the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. What's behind the set? The Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let me tell you. I feel like whoever you are, you was just moving forward. Okay, you was letting divine guide you with this three of wands. It's like with this two of swords, I'm getting you didn't. It was like you was walking into something blindly. You didn't really know what it was that you were doing. You know what I'm saying? Especially like it's saying you're a terror reader. You do what I do. You just come up here and read messages, read the cards, pick up on energy. You walk into situations blindly. Since you don't know what you be talking about, you just letting spirit talk through you. Okay, and I feel like this is why things is working in your favor with this wheel of fortune it's like this is why you have this wheel of fortune in your life fortune is coming into you this shit is turning in your favor because you went into something blindly you know what i'm saying you didn't know and i feel like it caused a lot of chaos and conflict in your life but it also other people's life because you spoke some sort of truth it created a burden okay it could have even burdened you because you didn't understand why this all this conflict and shit was happening behind something that you were being guided to do you didn't, you didn't fucking ask for this or, you know, hop on no bandwagon. This is like you were chosen for this. So at first it, it, it was a burden. You didn't understand this shit or why this was happening or why things, but this is why you were speaking some sort of truth and people started throwing magic on you. They didn't like that. You was, you was exposing them. Okay. I'm telling you, you don't do nothing but get, get messages from your spirit guide. Okay. And focus on yourself, what you got going on. Ain't nobody in there behind her pinnacles and her spirit gods. I feel like that's what people didn't like the most. Like, I feel like, yo, you, 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 you working, you, you, you getting where you, you, you're getting where you trying to go. Okay. By any means necessary with this page of cups, king of wands here. I mean, that's not the king of wands. That's the king of swords. Why did I say king of wands? Mm. Okay, but with this page of cups, king of swords, you got somebody coming in with a message. Give me more with this king of king. I keep singing king of wands. Okay, six of swords, knight of swords. Okay, so you do you have a king of wands energy? I am gonna say, 
Um, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that want to come in with some sort of truth with this page of cups. It's like they want to come in with a message. They want to come in with some sort of truth. Yeah, they because they they left you out in the cold for a third party, but now they're out in the cold. But I feel like you moved on with this King of Swords, Six of Swords. It's like you moved on to calmer waters, okay? And this person may be upset. It's like now they want to speak some sort of truth, but it's like you already know the truth. Ooh, okay. That's what I'm getting. Somebody want to speak some sort of truth, but you already know it. Okay, with this Five of Pentacles Empress is like, um, don't don't try to come tell me the truth now that I already I already know what the fuck going on. Yeah, with this um Queen of Cups here. I'm telling you somebody intuition is on fire. This Empress is like somebody want to like somebody want I'm hearing like to bring equal give and take, but no motherfucker, you gotta you gotta be honest from jump. You can't wait till the truth is exposed to now you want to come in here with this moon. It's like everything is already revealed. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's a, the cat, I'm here. The cat is already out the bag. <laughs> Cut the deck on the tower. I don't know. Somebody want to offer some. I don't know what this person thinking or what they got going on. Like what their intentions are. But... It's like, you can't speak some sort of truth, yo. You can't speak. You can't. It's like, how you telling somebody the truth of, about something and they already know? You know they know. Yeah. <laughs> Seven of Wands. I keep seeing this Six of Pentacles. So somebody could really want something from you. That's what I'm getting with that Six of Pentacles with this star. But I do feel like you defending yourself and spirit is blessing you. You about to get everything. All your wishes are being met. Period. Yeah, I feel like, look, I find the inner strength to face my fear with confidence. Like I said, you you stepped out in this shit blindly, okay? Unknowingly, you went with the flow of things. And you got archangels that's really so proud of you, so proud of your growth, how much you've been growing, how much you've changed. Like, they not going to never let nothing happen to you. Y'all can't make it a perseverance. They like it's like you know you you persevere through everything. Whatever it is that you want, you know that you could go get it. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're somebody who's very fucking fearless, very fearless. Okay, it's like somebody lived their life on edge for real, always ready, willing, and able to take that leap of faith. And I feel like you never was like this before, but you realizing how much success comes with being like this and, and now you do this shit freely you no longer guilt trip yourself into doing things that make you fucking happy you don't give a fuck how people feel about it you do this shit with pride and ease because when you didn't you regretted it let's get a final message for the collective self-esteem i possess the gifts and so i possess gifts of the soul that benefits me and others yup and service i'm telling you whatever you do for service is like this is your gift and somebody was really trying to shy away from it or have you shy away from it or have you feel bad because they were they they felt exposed no fuck that i feel like you 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 trigger a lot of people's self-esteem issues people can't sit can't sit with they self for too long and you somebody who can you get what I'm saying? It's like people feel like they exposed, but it's like at the same time, you don't hide who the fuck you are. It's been like people be thinking they have something on you, but it's like when you keep it a buck with yourself, it's nothing nobody could ever say about you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to always come off as if you don't give a fuck, but it's like, it ain't that I don't care. It's like, I, I know who the fuck I am as a person, you. And clearly you don't because if you watch somebody and feel exposed or feel like, you know, like they could, like they could see through your soul and it's not good. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way you would feel some type of way about somebody being able to see through your soul is if your fucking soul is dark as shit. Okay? Because somebody of the light, you, wanna, you want people to see you shining and that's what you are. You're that star. You don't mind letting people see you shine through the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, through it all. And that's what people, that's what they can't take. That's the difference. Okay, so that's the message that I have for you all. And until next time.